Welcome back to AlgoJS. Today's question is leak code 208 implement try. So a try or prefix tree is a tree data structure used to efficiently store and retrieve keys in a data set of strings. There are various applications of this data structure, such as autocomplete and spell checker. So implement the try class. Try initializes the try object. Insert inserts the string word into the try. Boolean search returns true if the string word is in try and false otherwise. Boolean starts with returns true if there is a previously inserted string word that has the prefix prefix and false otherwise. So here we're inserting apple. We're checking to see whether the try contains apple. It returns true. We check to see whether it contains app. It does not contain app as a word because within this try we have set apple as the word. So we're going to have a flag which states that apple is the word. So once we get to app, that will be a prefix of apple, but it will not be the word. So we check here if starts with is equal to app, in which case this is going to return true because app is a prefix of apple. And then if we insert app into the try and then search app, we will get true. So we need to implement this using classes. So let's quickly walk through what a try is. So a try also called a prefix tree is a tree data structure and you basically store strings in it. So strings and letters. So the root is always an empty string. So we've got two strings here, we've got cars and carpets. So let's work how this would fill out. So we have C, we check if that is in the tree, it's not. So we simply create it, we do the same with A, R and S. Now that we've reached the end of this first word, we can add an is word flag, set it to true to show that this Right here, cars is a whole word ending at S. And all the ancestors above it are prefixes of the word. So we have carpets now. So let's add that into this try data structure. So we look to see whether C is within the data structure. It is. We look to see whether A is in. Yes. R is also within it. Now we have PET. So P is not within this try currently. So we need to add it. So we branch off of R. We add P. We move over to E, it's not in the tree, so we add it. And then lastly, we have T, which we add in. And again, we add is word to signal that this path carpet is equal to a word. So the two main sections that may provide some difficulty is the search and starts with. So we need to search within the try to see whether we have a particular word. Now, if we looked for, say, car, this is going to return false. Even though we have car here, that is not a word within the try because R right here does not have is word set to true. It's a prefix of both carpet and cars. However, if we had cars, we'd go down to S, we'd see that is word is equal to true. So that search is successful. So if we look at starts with, with cars, this is going to return false because this is actually a word, it's not a prefix. And likewise, if we look at car, this is going to return true because this is a prefix. So when writing this out, the first thing we need to do is we need to initialize the try object. So let's set this dot root equal to an empty object. Then in order to insert a word into the try, we're going to get a reference we're going to say node is equal to this dot root then we loop through the characters of word so let's see of word so we check if the value of c within node is equal to null if it is we set it as an empty object and once we exit that loop we know we're at the end so we can set is word flag to equal true so that we've created a word now within search and starts with we're going to have to traverse through both word and prefix so we could make this a lot easier and create a helper and we will call this traverse so in order to traverse it's very similar to insert we just need to get the node which is set to root loop through the word, traverse through. If the node is equal to null, then we can just return null. 
else we can return node. When searching, firstly, we need to traverse the word. So let's extract the node. So node is equal to this dot traverse, which we just created, pass in the word. So here we're searching if the word is within the try. So we need to make sure that node does not equal null. So the last value does not equal null. And also that the last value has is word flag set to true. So return node does not equal null and is word is equal to true. And then we we'll start with, so here we're looking for the prefix. So again, let's grab the node. Now we can traverse down to the prefix because remember any descendant within the try always has common ancestors. So here, as long as the value we're on does not equal null, then we have a prefix. So we can just return node does not equal null. And then we can give this a go. Let's run it. And there you have it.